Amelia lived a quiet life until one day she got on a small plane and decided she wanted to be a pilot. That doesn't seem so strange nowadays, however 100 years ago planes were very primitive and there were very few female aviators. Flying was for men. Amelia did not want to waste any time, so she learned to fly and bought her first plane. It was yellow, and she called it the Canary. Then she set her first record. She was the first woman to fly at an altitude of 14,000 feet. After that, she broke other records and became even more famous. Then one day, she went on a truly extraordinary trip, for which she would be remembered forever. Exactly! Amelia was the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. She did it alone, piloting a Lockheed Vega 5B model airplane. She left the United States and wanted to get to Paris, but in the end she landed in Northern Ireland. Amelia was not only a great pilot and adventurer, she also wrote books, founded airlines, and helped to make airplane flights popular. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and fought for universal suffrage so that women could vote in their country's elections. She worked in a university to help other women who wanted to become pilots and engineers. She was one of the founders and first president of the 99s, an international organization of female pilots. The organization aimed to support female pilots as well as helping women who wanted to become pilots. Hooray for female pilots! In 1937, Amelia attempted what would be her last challenge, flying around the world in her plane. She left Oakland and crossed the United States until reaching Florida. From there, she went to Brazil and then crossed the Atlantic Ocean to Africa. She flew across Africa to India, arriving in Australia. Unfortunately, she disappeared when she was trying to reach Howland Island on July 2, 1937. Her whereabouts have not been known since. Thanks to her tenacity, courage, and drive, Amelia Earhart was and is a source of inspiration for many girls. She's helped break down stereotypes and make more women interested in aeronautics and engineering. The way to do it is to do it.